Station you did too. Think about all the awesome things it gives us. A vast communication network, innovative businesses, a platform to freely speak or challenge powerful governments, and hundreds and hundreds of hours of cat videos. All this great stuff is available because the internet was designed in an open and inclusive way, with a multitude of voices being able to get a say on how it's governed. But the internet is in danger. There's a meeting between the world's governments in a just a few weeks, and it could very well decide the future of the internet through a binding international treaty. It's called the World Conference on International Telecommunications, WCIT, and it's being organized by a government-controlled UN agency called the International Telecommunication Union, ITU. If some proposals at WCIT are approved, decisions about the internet would be made by a top-down, old-school government-centric agency behind closed doors. Some proposals allow for internet access to be cut off more easily, threaten privacy, legitimizes monitoring and blocking of online traffic. Others seek to impose new fees for accessing content, not to mention slowing down connection speeds, used as a pretext to internet pornography among other things as an excuse to censor sensitive material pages. Note that there are too many cases of child pornography that are ignored by the police. In addition to paying for internet service, you'd also have to pay for visiting certain sites, such as YouTube. Your communications would be constantly monitored and archived, meaning the end of internet privacy. This could potentially lead to individuals becoming victims of blackmail by malicious people who control the monitoring. The internet is home to many organized social movements which fight for human rights worldwide. If we allow this, we will not be able to use the internet to organize the defense of our rights. If the delicate balance of the internet is upset, it could have grave consequences for businesses and human rights. This must be stopped. Only governments get a vote at WCIT, so we need people from all around the world to demand that our leaders keep the internet open. Watch the video and take action above to tell your governments to oppose handing over key decisions about the internet to the ITU. Let's use the internet's global reach to save it. We are the internet. We are anonymous. We are here to help you with your revolution.